Today, in this video guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to tame one of the best blueprint farming dinosaurs in the entire game. Right, and as you might have guessed, that is this guy right here. This big old scary shooting guy, the Velanosaur. Alright, so let's get right into it. So, when you go to tame the Velanosaur, you're going to need a couple of things, okay? Some of the things that you're going to need when you're going to tame them is, it's really not a lot of prep work, just a long neck. About 25 tranquilizing darts, Dodex says 18, bring a little extra, and then 5 regular kibble. Uh, you can also use other foods. Uh, the foods that you would use in order to tame this guy, in order from uh, most effective to least effective, are going to be regular kibble, raw mutton, raw prime meat, and raw meat. And that's kind of really all you're going to use to tame them. The times that it's going to take on those, regular kibble will take you 7 minutes and 7 seconds to tame. Raw mutton is going to take you 8 minutes and 21 seconds to tame. Raw prime meat is going to take you 10 minutes and 1 second to tame. And raw meat is going to take you a whopping 29 minutes and 11 seconds to tame. So not a very long time. Not a very long time at all to tame these guys, which is great, okay? And just to note, it does take an hour and 4 minutes for this guy to wake up. So no matter what you are using, you are going to need absolutely zero narcotics. So the preparation for taming this guy is very, very easy. It's just the actual taming part where it gets... Uh, a little bit difficult and I'll show you what I mean you can build a trap for these guys but we're G's and we don't build traps because we're gangsters so um, all you're gonna do is just find yourself a nice little rock like this one right here okay and just exploit it to your biggest advantage so I'm gonna spawn in a wild 150 and make sure you have a set of flak I forgot to mention that right and all you're gonna do is just simply go in third person mode and just pop your head out and shoot right and it's a little d difficult, but you should be able to do it. Find like a nice little spot like this in between some rocks. You can also use a height advantage. And just note, he'll uh, he'll creep up towards you like that. And you're just going to walk around this rock. And just, just continually do this process over and over and over again. Until you have him uh, tamed up. And yeah, I mean, my flag's taking a little bit of damage. But I should be able to get this guy down. One thing to note is these guys have very, very low torpor drain rate. So you don't really have to worry too much about, um, about you know, taking too long on your shots. But yeah, this is just a great little simple, easy way to ch cheese this tame. Maybe bring an extra set of flak leggings. Alright, so the last little bit is he starts running away. When he starts running away, no problem. Just uh, follow him and shoot him. Until he goes down, he will not shoot you anymore, so you are pretty much clear. Um, one thing to mention is when you are wearing your armor, the guy will only shoot you in the pants. Okay, just to note that. He kind of chews through durability, but he, like, you know, I did it pretty poorly, and he, like, took off my prim flak leggings just barely at the end of the team. So maybe bring, like, if you're using prim flak, maybe bring, like, an extra set of leggings, uh, and it should be really easy. Okay, so next thing, all you want to do is when he is down, just put your lot of uh, food of choice into him, and you'll be good to go. Or, put your food of choice into him, wait the lot of time, and you're good to go. So, I'm going to tame this guy up, and I'll be right with you when he is actually tamed. Alright, perfect! Your Velanosaur is up, okay? Now, there is huge controversies as far as what to level up on your Velanosaur, and how to actually use this guy, okay? And... There's a re good reason why. Alright, so once you've actually tamed your Velanosaur, you might be wondering what to level on your Velanosaur. And that's a great question because it gets so confusing as to what to level on your Velanosaur. And you can easily ruin this guy based on his level. So let me explain it all to you, okay? So there's two ways to level your Velanosaur. And both of those ways determine how you're going to use him, okay? You can use this guy as a turret. Right, he can be a stationary turret and be like another turret for your base, okay? If that is how you're going to want to use him, then how you're going to level him up is going to be exactly like so, okay? You're going to want to pump stamina to 5,800, and that is it. The reason why you want to pump it up to 5,800 is because that is the max amount of stamina that he can use. If you put any points into that, more than 5,800 stamina, then it is essentially wasted, Okay? So, and the reason why is because let's say I pump him up to 10,000 stamina, right? Then he's going to go down to 4,200 stamina, and then he's going to reset and bring wait till his stamina goes back up to 10k and start firing again. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just don't pump another point past 5,800 stamina if you're going to use this guy for a turret, 
right? And then, if you're using them for a turret, then what you should do with the rest of the points is pump those into health. That way, it takes a lot longer to snipe and to kill him, and he lasts a lot longer as a turret, right? Because that's the only way to... You can't soak these guys, so you gotta kill them, right? Which is awesome. Okay, now, if you want to use this guy and ride on top of him and be a playable mount, then you have to level him up totally differently, okay? The way that you level him up is primarily melee damage, okay? The reason why you don't level up melee damage when he you want to use him as a turret is because if he's a turret a stationary turret he adding extra melee damage does nothing if you're not riding him it does absolutely zero extra damage if you're not riding this guy as a um as a turret it does nothing so every point if you're using him as a turret every point you put into melee damage is a waste okay however if you are riding him okay and you want to ride him and shoot with this then melee damage matters significantly and you should pump most of your points into melee damage if you know you're going to be using this guy to ride on top of him <laughs> right so there's two totally different builds right if you're using that build i would go a little bit of stam so that way you have you know you can shoot for a good bit you know get it up to at least 3k um the choices that yours from there and then i'd put pretty much the rest into melee damage and maybe leave it a little bit into health just to make sure that way he's not you know so squishy and doesn't die really quick okay and now you might be wondering how to actually use the volanosaur if you are going to ride him so he has three basic attacks that are really really awesome okay he's his first attack which does actually a considerable amount of damage this thing is awesome this attack right here does a lot more than you would think okay next he has his sail swipe attack which isn't too good i mean it does a little bit of damage it's just kind of like an aoe attack where he shoots a bunch of like darts in every direction so i mean i guess in some cases it could be useful but he probably not not you're probably not gonna really ever use it but his bread and butter and what makes this guy so appealing is his ranged attack right here this when he goes into turret mode okay you can do this by hitting the crouch button and this is awesome the reason why this attack is so awesome and why he's so good as a turret is because during this attack if you have a lot of melee damage and you are riding him oh my gosh does it do a lot of damage it shreds people but the thing that makes it so amazing is that it grounds flyers and you heard me correctly if somebody is attacking you on a wyvern on a pt on an rg on a desmo like whatever that flies in the game right and you could light this thing up from a long ways away too not just from a little bit from a long ways away okay and that will actually and it'll like make the guy go to the ground to where he like is on the ground like it, it pretty much just totally hard counters flyers so that is really awesome okay so how you're gonna use them in pvp for the most part is let's say you're attacking somebody and you have a velo in your pocket you're just gonna throw them out and you're gonna hop on them right and when you do this it's kind of like a defensive way right but just know you have the upper hand when you have a velo and you're attacking whatever they have a wyvern a pt an archie you have the upper hand because if they try to come at you you're just gonna light it up get a bunch of damage in and you know ground the flyer okay once that is grounded right then what you're gonna want to do is pull out your nets or pull out your nets or just keep lighting it up or you know try to get a bullet or something right that's you know you, you got to kind of like figure it out from there as to what you want to do if that's how you level this guy or you can put it you know keep him in turret mode and just throw him out and wait for the guy to come attack you and your velanosaur would just light him up on its own and then you can like you know do fight him however you want with your shotgun or your nets or whatever right so that's pretty much how you're going to primarily use him in pvp you, what also makes him super good is that this guy is the best blueprint farmer in the entire game. And what I mean by that is you can take this guy over to uh, Ragnarok and do the Lava Golem Cave and literally get most of the best blueprints in the entire game infinitely. In, in a matter of like with a high like level Velanosaur by yourself, you can do it in probably like a minute or two. Not very long at all. So that is really, really awesome. If you don't know how to run the Ragnarok Cave to get blueprints, I would highly recommend to do it. Just note, you will not be able to get flak blueprints, but pretty much everything else. Uh, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, everything about the Velanosaur. If you guys did, please leave a like and subscribe because that would mean the absolute world to me. I'm currently trying to reach 300 subs. Uh, and that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, may God bless you all and uh, peace out.